G'day guys, welcome back to Budget Tech Gadget Reviews. Thanks very much for tuning in once again. Now today on the bench, we're gonna have a look at this automatic sweeping robot vacuum cleaner that I picked up from AliExpress only a couple of weeks ago actually. It came rather quickly. I think it arrived, after I purchased it, I think it arrived just under two weeks actually. So very fast shipping from China to Australia from AliExpress. It does happen from time to time, but usually uh, you know, products take a little over two weeks. But uh, anyway, the reason why I purchased this one is that I noticed that AliExpress is absolutely flooded with different brands of these budget, really low cost uh, vacuum cleaners or sweeping robots, they call them. They even call them uh, sweeping mops as well. So I thought I'll try this one out. This one looked pretty decent for the price. As you can see, the model number is 8088 on the top there. I'm not too sure what brand. Um, doesn't really say what sort of manufacturer that uh, makes this. Let's have a look underneath. Yeah, there's not really any, there's just a, like a, a code number there, but it's made in China, obviously. It's just one of the many different uh, branded uh, little robots vacuums that you can buy. But anyway, I thought I'll try it out just to see how good it is for the price. Now I picked this one up for, I think, it's like 15.98, 16 bucks, and then got charged like I think another 2.98 or something like that shipping. So all up, I'm into it for only 19 bucks, under 20 bucks. So if it's not that great, I haven't uh, really lost that much money. So anyway, I was curious to try it out, see how it actually performs for the money. Now obviously it's not going to be as good as those $400, $500 automated uh, vacuum cleaners out there, you know, with their own home base and all recharging stations. Um, this one does charge up. It is rechargeable, but you do it via USB cord. Uh, it's not gonna have the options of mapping out your house or anything like that. It's just gonna bump into a wall or an object and then turn around and go in the other direction and uh, sweep and vacuum your floors that way. So anyway, there's some little icons on the box here. It says a long battery life applicable to multiple scenarios. Super suction, low noise, which is rather important. You don't want a noisy uh, vacuum. Bilateral brush, it's got two brushes and one key to open, because you can actually just open this top portion uh, to release all the dust and hair or anything like that. It does come in three different colors, guys, white, black, and pink, as you can see, I've got the black one. And there's some specs on the bottom here. It says the working noise is only 55 decibels. That's pretty quiet. Uh, it's got a rechargeable 3.7 volt, so that's a 1S powered uh, vacuum here with 400 milliamp hours. Product weight 250 grams, charging time between 1 to 200 minutes. It's got some more specifications here. Operating working hours around 20 minutes, okay? So uh, anyway, I'll put some specs uh, on screen right now that I got off the listing, as well as a few photos during this video. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description where I purchased this one from. Uh, like I said, it only cost me around $19 all up, including shipping to Australia, and it came rather quick. So let's have a look at what we get, guys. So it's very simple here. As you can see, we have the USB charger to a three millimeter jack. Let me just open this. Okay, so there's a closer look there. We also have this little uh, fiber cloth that I guess you stick underneath the actual uh, vacuum itself to mop the floor. And we've got a cleaning brush and a little accessory pack, okay? And we have it, that's that there. And let's have a look at this sweeping robot. So here it is here, guys. We got a on button there. As you can see, Two motors running there, as well as the front steering motor. And we got a little, maybe a little sensor there. I think that's a sensor. And we got some caster wheels as well on the bottom on little axles, okay? Let's turn it off. Okay, but as you can see, it's made out of ABS plastic. It's got ventilation on the back here. Very simple little device and on the front, is where you're gonna charge it up. I'm gonna have to charge this up because obviously that battery wouldn't be fully charged uh, since it just came out of the packaging. But uh, pretty sleek design, just like that. 
So there's the brushes on the bottom. As you can see, it was sweeping towards the little suction slot in the middle. So that's where all the dust and debris will be sucked up after it's swept into the center there, all right? And we've got this one that spins all the time, which is your steering. Okay, so once it hits something, it should just bounce back. Let's actually try that on the bench here. There you go. All right, so it just bounces off and it sweeps like that. All right. Now on the top here, take the cover off. And here's a little tray where all your debris is gonna be. Okay, hopefully it picks up a fair bit of dog hair. I've got a border collie here at home. And, uh, you know, as all border collies do, most dogs anyway, as well, uh, they've got long hair, they end up, you know, shedding their hair all the time. We have a little, uh, like a filtration here. Okay, and it's just, uh, it's got the, like a cooling motor in there. Yeah, that's pretty much the makeup of this uh, little robot, guys. Very plain and simple. Now I've just got to test it out and uh, we'll see what it picks up. So there's going to be a bit of footage there. I'll try a little bit in the garage here. There is a bit of sand and stuff here on the concrete floor. Now this is going to be suitable mainly for hard floors, uh, like your wooden floors, uh, tiles, obviously, in your house and uh, concrete floors like I have in the shed here. So um, I'm gonna test it out, guys. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work on carpet unless it's very fine, sort of uh, flat and hard office carpet. It might work well on that, but any plush carpet, there's no way it's gonna go over that. I'll charge this up, guys. Okay. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what it can pick up. Okay, how well it picks up dirt and dust as well as dog hair okay let's just have a quick go in the garage here quite a bit of sand haven't swept it for a while mainly because i knew i was going to receive this in the mail so there's a bit of sand on the concrete here everywhere actually there's a leaf there is it going to miss it it's going to miss it so far As you can see, once it hits an obstacle, it just goes back the other way. Seems to be sweeping up the sand. Can go back underneath the bench here. Workbench, can hit that. It is very quiet. Gotta hit the pedestal fan here. Now it's off. Make it over this groove. Sensing the groove in the concrete here. All right, so what I'll do, all right, so what I'll do, I'll just turn it off for now. And let's see what it's picked up in that very short run in the game. Okay, so let's have a look. There you go, guys. It's actually picked up a fair bit of dog hair and dust already. I haven't used it that long. I mean, you saw how long I just uh, ran it. First time running it. So it's actually doing not a bad job. <laughs> so there you have it. That's, that's actually quite impressive for only being in use for what? The last minute and a half in the garage here. So uh, it actually works better than I expected so far. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna continue to use this little uh, sweeping robot vacuum. I'll do a little bit more in the shed here as well as uh, a little bit inside. And then I'll come back on the bench before I empty it and we'll see all the dirt it picks up. But so far, pretty impressed with it. Let's have a look underneath on the mop. As you can see, that's not dirty, but you can see the brushes are picking up all the hair and leaves and yeah, not bad. Not bad at all so far. All right. Okay, so as you can see, my border collie's left a bit of hair around near the front entry. So let's... Uh, Turn it on inside here. Look 
definitely sleeping up that head. Okay, well, I'm still going to do its thing and then um, we'll come back a bit later and we'll see what it picked up on the bench. Okay, guys, well, I continued to let it uh, do its thing and sweep around and vacuum around the house, okay, after I took that bit of footage there to show you on the tiles. And uh, it did run for around the 20 minutes or so that they do claim on the specs with that little 400 milliamp hour 1S battery that's uh, installed in this little vacuum. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, it's actually did pick up quite a bit of dust. Um, now I haven't emptied this uh, second load out. I actually did uh, already empty one load of uh, what it picked up, which was a lot of dog hair mainly from my Border Collie. So yeah, it was very effective at picking up the dog hair and sucking it up into the tray here, as well as uh, uh, dust particles, which I'll show you in a second. But on the bottom here, I just want to show you this first. As you can see, still got quite a bit of uh, dog hair that it's swept up and you can see the suction port here is pretty much full of dust and hair. Uh, on the bottom here, that little uh, fiber cloth, it did a pretty decent job at picking up whatever leftover dust that the actual vacuum missed, that uh, missed the chamber here. And there's a few hairs there stuck to it as well. So yeah, pretty effective little, uh, little unit, for, especially for the price. I'm actually quite surprised at how it works. Now I open up this. This is the second load and check that out guys. Look at all the dog hair and dust particles that it's uh, filled up there. So yeah, it definitely works <laughs> for the price. I'm actually quite impressed guys. Um, I can't believe how well it works, you know, for such a cheap price. I mean, I didn't expect this to work as well as it did. I'll be honest with you for, you know, 15 95, 16 bucks for the actual sweeping robot vacuum here and a couple of dollars uh, postage, which all up about $19 Australian. Um, I didn't really have high hopes for it. I thought, you know, it might not pick up that much, but it actually uh, exceeded my expectations. Like I said, uh, in that 20 minute period or so that the battery lasted for, I did have to empty this out once. So this is the second load and it filled it up pretty quickly. So it only took around 10 minutes to fill up one load. So uh, yeah, not bad guys, not bad. Uh, this would be effective for someone that has a really small apartment, maybe, um, you know, with hardwood floors or, or uh, tiling. Um, you know, you just, just set it up and forget it, go out, let it do its thing and uh, it will clean a small environment uh, for sure. Um, you know, instead of spending the three, four, five hundred dollars of those more professional, uh, higher grade, robot vacuums, you know, the ones that have cameras and sensors all around them. They have their own home base. They run on GPS and all that sort of thing. It's really not needed for, so if you own a small apartment, you could easily get away with using this from time to time. So for that, yeah, it's a, uh, what can I say? I'll give it a thumbs up for the price. Um, it actually does work rather well. Now, what I might do in the future is uh, actually modify this. Now the 3.7 volt battery that's in it already is 400 milliamp hours. And that's rather small. So I wouldn't mind trying to put a, maybe a thousand milliamp hour LiPo in there. I think there will be a fair amount of room in there to do so. And then that way I'll probably get closer to an hour of runtime. Um, 
But yeah, guys, I mean, for the price, what do you expect? You know, you can't really expect much and this actually does work. So for that, I can recommend it for the price. Um, if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check it out yourself. Now, like I said before, the reason of purchasing this was basically out of curiosity to see if they do actually work. Um, AliExpress and other online sites like eBay are just flooded with these little cheap sweeping robots. And um, yeah, it does actually work for the price. Um, it does actually a pretty decent job, as you can see there, of picking up especially pet hair and dust particles. Um, there's one thing that I wish they would add uh, when you're charging it up though, um, they don't have an indicator light on here and it does take a while to actually charge it. Uh, they do stay at around 100 to 200 minutes. I'd say from a flat battery, it probably did take over an hour for it to uh, charge up, you know, to full capacity. But the thing is that you don't know when it's finished charging because there is no indicator light. So I would have liked to have seen maybe just a little LED indicator light. They could have incorporated one there once it uh, finishes topping up that battery. Uh, otherwise, you know, the way it is, you don't really know how long to charge it for. You just basically plug it, the adapter in and just let it sit for a couple of hours and then should be good to go. But other than that, not a bad little, uh, not a bad little budget device. Now I did open up this unit just to see the inner workings inside. I was curious, especially because uh, it did state that this has a brushless motor. So I wanted to be sure to see if it did or not. Um, you know, it's very easy to open, just six screws and this whole section, bottom section comes off. And uh, I'll leave some photos right now of what it looks like inside. As you can see, um, I wasn't that surprised, but it does not have any brushless motors there uh, like they do claim. So it's a little bit misleading there. But um, as you can see, the battery is in the center of this unit itself, the little 400 milliamp hour uh, one cell battery. And at the front, you can see there's one electric motor uh, that runs all the gearing and the two rubber bands to run these two front sweepers, okay? And towards the back, you'll see that there is another electric motor that runs a little vacuum system where it's got that impeller blade uh, on top. And we've got the filter on top as well to stop dust getting into there. And it actually sucks up the the hair and the dust into the tray. So yeah, very simple electronics, but hey, it does it does work. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a little cheap unit. All right, guys. So yeah, I just want to open it up and see exactly for myself, uh, you know, how it works inside, what, what's actually running this, uh, this little unit, this little vacuum. So there you have it, guys. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick review on the sweeping robot from AliExpress. Um, as always, I'll leave a link in the description where I bought this particular one from and uh, you can check it out yourself. So thanks very much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Always great to hear from you and uh, I'll catch you on the next review video. So until next time, have a great day and I'll see you again soon.